Let's play Warhammer 40,000 Dawn War Dark Crusade. Hey everyone, Alex here from Double Jump with Let's Play Warhammer 40,000 Dawn War Dark Crusade yet again. Still getting our asses kicked by the uh, Space Marines. That's okay. Once I get vehicles out, we should be good. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna skip, skip all that bullshit and go straight for the Bane Blade. Because I want to show you guys the Bane Blade. It's cool as heck, man. It's got so many guns. It's got like one really big ass gun and then like a, a mortar on it and like side guns. I don't even know, man. That shit's just it's rad. It's the only way to ex like explain it. Rad as heck. You know what's also rad? That Psyker shooting lightning beams out of his face. I'm going to refrain from talking about the Warhammer uh, 40k lore luff stuff for now until I put these videos up and see what people think about me ranting about things that I barely know about. Like Space Marines and how they're all clones, except not really. They're not clones, don't. That's a lot. Didn't I just take this point? No, I didn't. I blew the thingy up and didn't take the point, because I'm a dumb poop butt, and I can do nothing right in this game. That is a fact. So, okay, cool, these guys captured the thing. Now let's go capture this thing. Wait, what was that noise? That was the noise of something being captured. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Anyway. Uh, is this guy done doing his thing? Yeah. Oh, that needs to be repaired. And I got my other guy over here. He's good. This upgrade done? It is. Okay, time to get this. Though or not. We gotta get this first. Okay. Then we can get the beam. We're also gonna build another mechanized command to increase our vehicle population cap so that I can get all of the cool vehicles that I want to show off. AKA big ass tanks, or they're not really actually big, the Lehman Rust tanks, but small ass tanks and a big ass tank that will screw everyone up. You know what I was saying before, a few episodes ago, and I totally cut myself off? Um, I should stop doing that, but probably not. The Bane Blade is not a unit that you can normally get in tabletop. Uh, a tabletop match, as far as I'm aware, it is an, or at least it used to be, a apocalypse unit, which meant that you had to be playing an apocalypse game, which means, or which is, a uh, form of Warhammer 40,000 tabletop, where the point limit and points each unit that you get has points assigned to it. The point limit is ridiculously high. There are just hundreds of models on the table and uh, ridiculous amounts of damage being done, special units that are massive, um, and all of that good stuff. So each of the races in this game gets one, like, sort of apocalypse type unit, uh, and my unit, as the Imperial Guard, this guy needs to get out of here, like, right now, is the Bane Blade. Which, now that Full Scale War is done completing, I can get this thingy, and we'll start building it. We'll start building the Bane Blade as soon as I can do that. What is this? I'm just so confused. I'm so confused as to what my, my troops are doing. Just shoot these guys. Like, what are you running around like idiots for? Anyway, um, so that, that's what the Bane Blade is. That's why... But the, again, the rules probably changed, considering the fact that you can now get, um, like, mixed armies. I don't know what the hell you can do now. Like, you could probably fucking just punch the table really hard, and if all the models fly off, you win. I wouldn't doubt if that was a rule. Like, if you told me that was a rule, I wouldn't be like, that's stupid, and I doubt that that's real. I'd be like, hmm, that's plausible. 
the current state of like my mind being blown each time I read a new Warhammer related thing because there's just so much stuff that I didn't know about. Anyway, I'm gonna build two more infantry commands just to make sure I'm at the maximum squad capacity because I like it when my numbers are nice and pretty. I judge my numbers by their looks. I'm very, uh, New codes, sir. whatever it's called when you value looks over not looks. I don't even know what I was talking about before. Something about numbers? I'm a fan of numbers. Great. Fan of the number 69. I'm also a fan of the number 420. Not that I smoke, I just think that like, when num a number hits 420 and someone just quietly whispers the words blaze it into your ear, I find that to be the funniest thing. I also completely do that to people all the time. In case you were wondering. So these are Lehman Russes. Lehman Russ tanks. And, uh, they are really cool. So in tabletop... Uh, you see, I'm talking about tabletop again. I said I wouldn't talk about fluff. This isn't fluff. This is crunch. Um, at least, like, the, as far as I'm aware, I, again, things might be different than what I have known at one point. Like, everything I know is a lie now. Uh, you could get three of these tanks, and vehicles are extremely powerful in tabletop compared to infantry, by the way. Um, most of the time, infantry can't even hurt a lot of vehicles uh, because they don't have like the armor piercing values that you need uh, because again like why would a little rifle hurt a tank doesn't make sense I mean in this game it kind of works a little bit but not in tabletop uh, but you could get three of these things in a squad for 450 points which is super super cheap uh, especially for three tanks like a squad of space marines I believe is around 100 points I I believe. Uh, I think they're 20 points each. I'm not sure. You need five for squad. Well, that's a tactical squad. That's different. Anyway. So for four or five units of space marines, you could have three tanks. So I think that's that's pretty good. At least to me. Why do I have all these builders here again? Oh, this guy's just like going off on his own building all these things. That's kind of... Shouldn't have done that. I feel bad for the guy. But no, I don't. Because he's a virtual character. And has no emotions. Just like, no emotions. Uh, we, need to, we need to stop this horse commander. Tanks, vehicles, not really that great in this game. Uh, against infantry, which is... I mean, you'd expect a tank to be really good against infantry, but like, not really. Oh, there's the Bane Blade. I forgot I built this thing. So yeah, this thing has 11 guns on it. Let's see if we can find all of them. Or 11 barrels, at least. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Will be hard. What? Only 9? <gasps> oh, wait, no. Here we go. Wait. Got the little... 10, 11. Yeah, there we go. There's two little ones down there. 11 barrels. So, we're just going to charge into his base. It should be, like, right here. All you have to do is blow up their headquarters to win. That's how it works. So it's really easy to win if you just rush with the vehicles. Which I haven't been doing, because I'm stupid. Also, all these guys are dying. I'm not even paying attention. I've been ranting for a really long time. I apologize. Do I talk too much? The answer is yes, I already know it. But, is that going to stop me? Absolutely not. I may have said that I want to do better quality videos, but I never promised that I would talk less than I do right now. Which is a substantial amount. Uh, but there is one thing that I do not like. I do not like when a Let's Player... Does not, I don't watch Let's Plays anymore. I'm just like... After six years, I'm... Completely sick of watching other people do a thing that I've also been doing. And I kind of got sick of Let's Playing for a while, but uh... Anyway, the one thing that I I hate the most is when uh, an LP here does not talk enough. So I'd rather be talking too much than not talking. Uh, just dead silence is one of the worst sins you can commit. 
um, when it comes to Let's Play. I might do a little Let's Play tutorial. If we want to start out Let's Playing, I'll, I'll, I'll learn them. I'll learn them how to do a Let's Play. But, anyway, we're about to win, uh, which is very perfect timing, because we're about to run out of time for this episode. Again, I apologize for the first episode lasting 20 minutes. That was stupid of me. But all is forgiven now that I have destroyed the enemy's HQ and won the battle. Victory, Regimental Commander, which is another special unit that I can buy, but I have no requisition, so I can't really can't really do that right now. Also, I have the hiccups, so I'm making weird noises. That's why. Anyway, next time on Double Jump, we're going to keep playing Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War, Dark Crusade as the Imperial Guard.